Triosinase is a copper containing enzyme which is present in both plant and animal tissue. It acts as a catalyzer for melanin production. The triosinase is uh, produced from substratum present on the triosin with the process of oxidation this will be evoluted. At the same time uh, triosin is a non-essential amino acid which is produced from phenyl alanine and it is also an amino acid. Why we are discussing all these things means thus melanin is a pigmentation formation which will keep the skin unblowful and darker. Example if the potato is cut and kept aside cut and kept aside then it will immediately turn its color because of this copper enzyme present in it. So, to prevent that one, to prevent the production of that one, cogenic acid is highly essential. That cogenic acid is present in fermented white rice, especially in the broken rice. Hope you understood this point very clearly. So, next thing is this triosin. It is helpful for Tyrosin, sorry, tyrosin is highly helpful for the production of neurotransmitters like dopamine and also for protein synthesis and also for melanin pigmentation formation. So, and also here you need to understand one thing very clearly that melanin as it go on increases in the body, if it is not inhibited, the skin itself will turn into dark color. To prevent that one, cogenic acid is highly helpful. Here in the method of intake, 80% intake is important, 20% externally the things will go well. So here I will clarify with one more point here. Here AHA, PHA and DHA are the components highly essential for the beautiful and glowing skin and also beautiful and glossy hair. Uh, nice uh, lustrous hair, thick hair also because AHA means alpha hydroxy acid, BHA, beta hydroxy acid and PHA, polyhydroxy acid. Alpha hydroxy acid is highly helpful for uh, removing the exfoliation process means the dead cells will be removed from the stratum corneum the upper layer of the skin and there will be carotenocytes which will be accumulated as the corneocytes those cells will be highly exfoliated by intake of AHA alpha hydroxy acid so this alpha hydroxy acid highly helps helpful for removing the dead, dead cells example of AHA the malic acid present in the apple and tartaric acid present in the grapes and citric acid present in the lemon and also lactic acid in the sour milk and buttermilk and uh, one more thing is glycolic acid is present in the sugar cane. So the total these things are rich with AHA alpha hydroxy acid these are high antioxidants which will really uh, protect the body from oxidation stress and keeps the skin uh, very good in a good texture so next one is uh, salicylic acids sal mandelic acid say these are certain acids which are also present in our regular food in both fruits and vegetable here salicylic acid will keep the skin hydrated and also moist example if the scalp layers gets hardened without any moist applied to it externally that will form the scales of the skin that is the dandruff will appear in the white scaly formation so salicylic acid should be taken internally also very well this salicylic acid is highly present in the tomatoes for example and also in many other foods like cucumber broccoli kira radish and also uh, some other food products and here you can observe on any cosmetic to for dry eczema dry erythema salicylic acid will be provided in the chemical form you need to take in the diet form or food food form that's what my intention is and second thing is the beta hydroxy acid i already told you and pha is in the form of lactobionic acid here the important thing is mandolic acid also highly helpful for keeping the skin 
uh, to prevent the hyperpigmentation to give the uh, whitening to make the skin whitening also this mandelic acid is uh, extraction of bitter uh, almonds and also this they are highly present in sunflower seeds walnuts almonds and cherries and also peach see here it is very important is in the nuts it is present so that that mandelic acid is highly essential for our beautiful skin and also hair the food is always a great medicine i am going on saying you prevention is better than cure see if anything is diseased we need medicine to prevent the disease we need very good nutritious food in the salicylates group you can take olive oil and lauric acid of the coconut is very good for the skin and also uh, lactic acid is highly present in the sour milk and also sour curd it is present so you can understand very clearly and all the citric acid fruits are very helpful to keep the skin away from infections here one more thing is stratum corneum is the upper layer of the skin where uh, the stratum corneum gets strongly binded with the this dead cells called corneocytes these are healthy keratinocytes they get dead on they appear on the upper part of the stratum corneum if the stratum corneum is proper then it can prevent the diseases from uh, virus bacteria and also fungal infections so that should not be damaged much only the exfoliation of the skin should be removed you can very clearly see nowadays we see people ask us in the youtube and also in the google to wash our face with the rice water and also to give a head bath these are all uh, highly present in the the scogic acid is present also in soya sauce also in the uh, fermented rice water at the same time it is chia seeds flax seeds are also highly present in the uh, mandelic acid group only and that also helpful the flax seed powder so they ask you to apply for the hair for the smoothy uh, texture and also this they for a beautiful skin almond oil is highly essential and also for in the group of salicylic acid olive oil is highly beneficial for the beautiful skin because it is rich in antioxidants at the same time this fermented broken rice will have oxalic acid gallic acid and also in that it is this especially kojic acid is present so you can understand the importance of broken rice most of the people they do regularly use this cosmetics and also artificial uh, steroids for the skin and its beauty they do act only for temporary time the food itself is a great medicine if you properly utilize it see for exfoliation of the skin you can have one useful tip here you can take 1 by 4th spoon one spoon of rice flour and half spoon of uh, you can take curd half spoon of honey 1 by 4th spoon of this oatmeal oatmeal is also very rich for this nice acids are present for keeping the skin glowful little sugar 1 by 4th spoon of the sugar will as a scrub here 1 uh, by 4th spoon of sugars and also you can take uh, i already told little olive oil you can add uh, and also this uh, lactic acid is essential to keep the skin hydrated moist so take curd also 1 spoon of curd and honey is always a blood purifier and also rich with salicylic acid it keeps the skin very glowful add 1 spoon or half spoon of honey and few drops of uh, keera or cucumber juice you can add so all these things you can mix and apply to your face like a facial pack it will keep your skin very soft and you can use this especially in the armpits and also uh, in the neck region there will be dark pigmentation the dark pigmentation may be with two to three reasons the persons with pcos problem polycystic ovarian syndrome they will have a neck region with the full of darkness that is due to insulin resistance one of the reason and you can identify whether it if it is with the darkness will be with the sun shade or with the dust you can clarify it once before you start this one so you can apply that one to your neck also this one you use that scrub and the tan will be going off so this will act as a tan removal also natural tan removal if you understand the main reason how the melanin is 
inhibited by the cholangic uh, kojic acid you can have the fermented rice more intake i already showed many recipes with the fermented rice the rice external application always plays a very minimal ro role approximately 15 to 10% or 20% is uh, maximum and only 80% will be depend on our intake of the food but one thing is the facial muscles and the face will be highly uh, requirement of uh, all these facial muscles need rich hemoglobin so make some pranayama or yoga to provide some oxygen and that keeps your face very glowful and anything need to be taken care properly to keep ourselves beautiful and take nice buttermilk which will keep your skin glossy and also with a nice structure and that is the skin collagen threads will be nice and you need to uh, you should never use more ph soaps here kindly check the your quality of the skin try to use less ph soaps for external application and the soap should not be used directly on the skin if you want to keep the skin very soft and also silky and you need to mix with water take a nice scrub and apply little soap and go on apply to your skin the soap and also the foamy method of the soap so try to take care of the skin properly to prevent acne all these are very much important even you can take little garlic and apply it as a face pack on your acne acne is a main reason will be either it will be hormonal imbalance it may be due to uncleanliness and there will be a fight between the important cells uh, t cells like active cells and also against the bacteria and there will be the pus formation so go on repeat the face uh, face water wash in the water wash you can use all these vegetable peels and fruit peels which are left in the home are nicely washed and soak in the water whole night and you can you apply it as a face wash at the same time the glycolic acid present in the uh, sugar cane it highly prevents this darkness of the neck and also underarm da darkness and anywhere on the skin first intake of the sugar cane is very very important that will keep to prevent all this uh, darkness of the skin and sometimes for beautiful skin vitamin d is highly essential like we prefer the early morning sunrise for the skin